Mark, my final question for you is in terms of preparing for an interview, we know that once a candidate applies and then they are shortlisted, there will be a phone interview and then there will be either face to face, depending on the company or Zoom interview. So how can job seekers be prepared for the phone interview and then face to face? That's a good question, because many times the interview, uh, you won't get to a person face to face because there are several phone or video interviews that precede that. Yes. So you want to prepare accordingly. And one of the things I recommend uh, doing, I have somewhere uh, in one of my resource materials, an interview checklist, but there are tons of them out there. There are some that are more details than the one I've had. But uh, one of the things you can do is just to think about uh, your setup for video, which is where a lot of people tend to uh, mm -hmm. slip. Uh, when you're interviewing, many times you're interviewing with an avatar and not particularly with the person. And that's something you have to be prepared for. So you got to practice looking to the camera, make sure yes. you're straight, know where your sweet spots are, make sure your lighting is lighting. there, make sure yes. that your sound is there, because we're talking about interviewing actually to artificial intelligence. Yes. And if you're not, if they're not able to hear you, they're not going to ask you again to record. They're just going to discard your, your mm -hmm. profile. So those are things, simple things you can start doing. And then as well, you want to do as much research about the company and how they operate as much as possible. You want to try to talk to people in the company to find out as much information as possible. The closer you get to the people who worked with your position or work uh, or work into part millennial, if I can use that word, <laughs> uh, between departments, find out how that person is. Because, you know, I think people mistaken th that they work with teams and they work with other people and they're also evaluated many times on that. So yeah. you want to find out what that culture is like. Yeah. And so that preparation needs to be pretty deep and detailed. But at the same time, you want to also practice with the real person so yeah. that when you come to a face-to-face -face, yeah. that you'll be able to answer questions in a way that a human can understand it because a human interpretation and an artificial intelligence interpretation are probably going to be on two different yeah. separate uh, um, gauges so you won't be prepared that way. And interviews are two-way communication. The candidate is interviewing the employer, the employer is interviewing the candidate to see if there's an alignment, if there's a mm -hmm. value alignment and go from there, right? Right, yeah. I mean, I mean, really, uh, depending on the, if the, if the company is not value-driven, mm -hmm. um, is likely that they're not going to look for values as much as the ones that are value driven because they're going to they're going to want to know how does this play out in your life yeah. is ultimately when we talk about values and what does it mean to you yeah. um, if the company doesn't care about that you have to evaluate too whether if you want to work with a company that doesn't care about that or one that does and i tell you the ones that do ultimately there's a great relationship between not only that person in the team and whoever referred them, but also the company because they like being aligned for what the company stands yeah. for. Value alignment is very important. And nowadays job seekers has many options. You know, they can, especially with COVID, their priorities has changed. They want mm -hmm. to work where they're, they're offering maybe flexibility working from home or other things that they're offering. Yeah, well, flexibility is a value. Yeah. We want to be flexible because of family, because we want to be home with the pets, yeah. which is a recent study. Yeah. <laughs> People want to be home with their pets. They want to be home with the children, or they need to take care of somebody who's older in their family, whether it's a yeah. mother, father, grandmother, whatever that might be. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And thank you again for those great tips. And with that, my interview, Mark, with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation and I hope the audience will implement some of the tips that we talked about. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of preparing for interview, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great guest. Mark, again, thank you very much and hope one day we can meet face to face. Bye everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Bye-bye.